On Monday night, the U.S. Army announced Bell as the winner in its long-running future long-range assault aircraft, FLRA competition to replace the Army's aging fleet of Black Hawk helicopters, marking the branch's largest rotor craft purchase in more than 30 years. This is an exciting time for the U.S. Army. Bell and team courage as we modernize the Army's aviation capabilities over the coming decades, said Mitch Snyder, President and CEO of Bell. The FLRA competition was supposed to conclude in June, but Army leaders announced that they needed more time to review the two competing bids, Bell's V-280 Valor and the joint Sikorsky Boeing compound helicopter platform dubbed the SB-1 Defiant X. In November, the Army said they'd release their decision by the end of the year citing quality control and due diligence as the reason for the delay. The contract which includes an initial award of $232 million over the next 19 months and as much as $1.3 billion in total is not to produce a fleet of operational rotor craft, but rather to continue preliminary design work and eventually deliver virtual prototypes of a potentially model-based system. There are zero aircraft being procured in the initial portion, Major General Robert Barry, the Army's Program Executive Officer for Aviation, explained. It's nearly impossible to overstate the significance of this award. The U.S. Army alone currently operates a fleet of more than 2,135 H-60-based helicopters, according to Lockheed Martin, which owns Sikorsky, with at least 750 currently undergoing a series of avionics and system upgrades to bring them up to UH-60V standards. According to Bell, the V-280 Valor is an extremely capable tiltrotor aircraft that offers a combination of conventional helicopter and airplane capability sets. 
with a claim top speed as high as 305 knots, originally 280, hence its name, or approximately 350 miles per hour. The Valor beats the Black Hawk's top speed by better than 100 miles per hour. Alongside a high sling load capability and the skill sets you'd expect of a tactical helicopter, like allowing troops carried on board fast rope on the aircraft while it hovers. Every time you hear the Chief or Major General Rugen speak, it's about speed, range, and reach, said Frank Lazara, Director of Bell's Advanced Vertical Lift Systems, Sales and Strategy. Lazaro previously flew CD-22 Ospreys for Air Force's Special Operations Command. It's about the ability to mass combat force on an objective and close on the enemy as quickly as possible. All these things have been demonstrated by an operational tilt rotor without sacrificing performance at the X. According to previous statements, the V-280 Valor can achieve these speeds while also carrying up to 25% more cargo or 23% more personnel with a range of 800 nautical miles. For context, the Black Hawk offers an unrefueled range of just 362 miles. The v 280 tilt rotor design does create a wider footprint than the UH-60 Black Hawk, but Bell claims it makes up for that by being 20% shorter, allowing for a great deal of flexibility when landing. Tilt rotor aircraft are, by Bell's own admission, more complex than conventional helicopters, but with that complexity comes added capability, like sustained high speeds. And Bell points out that it has gained a great deal of experience making tilt rotor platforms robust over 650,000 U.S. military flight hours accumulated operating the V-22 Osprey. What Bell did with the V-280 Valor was to evolve the tilt rotor configuration into a fighting machine designed specifically for the Army Air Assault and Utility Missions in contested environments and to be maintainable in the field, said Carl Kaufman, Vice President of Future Vertical Lift Strategy at Bell. We proved that this is not going to be a risky configuration for the Army to adopt because there is no component on the V-280 that you can't pull with organic ground support equipment in an austere environment today. The exact requirements the U.S. Army wants to see the V-280 Valor meet before it enters service remain classified.